Chalke, we announced in the Yorkshire Post the other week that this season's going to be your final one as a, a Doncaster Knight. You're going to uh, leave us as the player that's played more professional first team games than any other player in the club's history. Uh, congratulations, first off. Well, thank you very much. It's um, something I'm really proud of. Um, when I initially came over from Rotherham, which was 11 years ago, no way would I have thought that that had happened, but I've been really fortunate with. Um, Injuries and no, I've really enjoyed my time here. I think over the years you've always become sort of synonymous with what's been good about Doncaster rugby, uh, and you've seen it all. You've seen good times, bad times, cup finals, playoff finals. Uh, talk us through some of your favourite uh, moments and maybe some of the most challenging times you've seen here at Castle Park. Um, it, coming to Doncaster initially were a, um, a big plus for me. I'd um, watched Doncaster quite a lot as a young lad and I'm um, quite envious to be honest of the facilities and the, the, um, the team so that move was really big for me and um, enjoyed my time in the third season I'd came I became captain which again was a massive honour um, took that quite personally when we got relegated that I had um, opportunities to move away and go to stay in the championship but I thought it was a bit of a duty to um, stay and get the club back and to do that on the first time of asking were one of the career highlights to be honest Sure. Uh, on a personal level, you've, you've achieved all sorts. Of, you talk about that first season uh, in National One. You were named in the, uh, the Women Paper Team of the Seasons. I believe you've been named Players Player of the Year three times in your time here at Doncaster Knights. And of course, you were in the Championship uh, Dream 15 last year as well. That's just a few of the accolades. I'm sure you'll, when you reflect on your time at Castle Park, there's a lot that you'll be proud of. Being named in like the Dream Teams and stuff like that, it's, it's nice to have your name mentioned, but um, for me, it's always been important that my peers think um, I'm a good bloke, I'm trying my best. I'm not particularly bothered about performances, but I'd like to think that he gave 110%, good or bad, and to be in teams like that shows some people think that. You'll have uh, seen quite a bit of change in the time that you came here. Obviously, you mentioned moving to Doncaster, we've had the facilities, they've been here a long time, but since you've been involved, things like the academy, things like the development on the field, there's been lots that have changed. Uh, Summarise some of the changes that you've seen in your 10 years at Castle Park. Well, firstly, the, the turnover of players. Um, when I first came, it was under Lynn Howells. They'd been a big call in that year. And then the following year, when, when Brett Davy came, there was another big turnover of players. And we had a bit of stability when, when Clive came. Um, we had a good um, group of players that kept for two or three seasons. And then there's a new crop this year. So we've um, gone through lots of players off the field. The development of the academy, I think, is really positive for the club. So there's a natural progression for a lad who, who's starting in the minis at six. He, if he's got the, the talent and the ambition, he can come, potentially come all the way through to professional rugby. I think that's really important. Talk about now that you've seen a, a few of these life cycles, if you like. You talked about Lynn and Brett, Clyde, and now, of course, Bo's Bo a guy that you've known for an awful long time, played with him and obviously now uh, being coached under him. What's the feeling in this group? How does it compare to some of the other squads that have been put together previously? Um, I think this obviously it's a really young team. Um, he's taken the he's chosen to pick a really young, ambitious team. Um, now it's not a case of players coming and that being the ceiling. He's getting players who are potentially here potentially to kick on and go above them. He sees that in them. Um, I think it's really hungry, and it's it's a refreshing change to be honest. We're three games into this campaign with three wins. You talk about these young, fresh and hungry players. I'm looking at two players, maybe towards the twilight of the career yourself and Ben Hunter, absolutely doing the business week in, week out. You've still got that pride and passion to play for the shirt, it seems. Yeah, definitely. On, on a personal note, if I didn't think I could uh, mix it and still do my job, at, I, I'd have walked away a while ago. It's um, I wouldn't be here just making the numbers up. Um, and Hunt's a fantastic player. He's not quite as old as me. He's still plenty of years left in him, I'm sure. You, you mentioned it there then, so... Does now feel like the time to walk away then? Um, yeah, uh, it's always been in the back of my mind, the transition into the real world. Um, physically, I feel fine. Um, if you ask Dougie, it's going to be like fitness tests and stuff like that. I'm still up there. Um, but I think it's just getting the best mix and transition into the real world where I can play a little bit of rugby at amateur level um, while I'm getting into the real world from the work front. Um, reading the article that you did with Dave Craven in the Yorkshire Post, I believe that you've, you've got measures in place and you're pretty much all set for that pro rugby transition. Yep, um, I spoke to, I've been to a few interviews, um, got a few job offers, which was surprising to be honest. 
um, and the, allowed me to play till June. So I'm just focused on this year, enjoying every moment, safe in the knowledge that I've got a job lined up for when I've finished. Uh, what will you miss about Doncaster Knights when you uh, when you stop at the end of the season? Um, I'll miss all, all the staff off the field. I've um, been with here for 11 years and I've built some good relationships with those. Um, the lads, and just day to day, knowing good, bad and different on a Monday, it's the, a new cycle for a new game. Um, just for the camaraderie and having a bit of crack with the lads. So uh, Matt Chalner's last campaign at Doncaster Knight, I bet you're motivated to finish it on a high this season. Yeah, definitely. Like I say, I, I, if I didn't think I could mix it, I wouldn't be here. I'm, um, trying to strive into the best I can and contribute on the field and hopefully get as many wins as we can. How well do you think this team can go this season? I think well, we're, we're three from three and I don't think we've hit anywhere near the straps yet. I think there's a lot of growth in the team um, and a lot of better performances to look forward to. I think potentially we could go and surprise a few and do really well. Uh, well, Chow, from me and I'm sure from all the fans who are watching this at home and all the staff and coaches staff, Congratulations on a fantastic career. You're definitely going to retire as one of the greatest to have worn the shirt at this club, so well done. Thanks very much. Cheers.